Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I personally dislike when uh, this uh, practice of presidents um, signing executive orders while in office. I understand that sometimes you have an emergency and you have to act and uh, therefore you do uh, apply and use these emergency orders, presidential emergency orders or orders or decrees because that's why they are. Uh, it's a one guy decides something, his team, he signs it and because, becomes, you know, a policy for a period of time until it is challenged in courts. And after about three years, let's say, after it destroyed something, the courts determine, or maybe the Supreme Court, the US Supreme Court determine, uh, determines uh, it was unconstitutional. It's okay. Three years, it was uh, rampant in the... Um, in the country. Now, Trump pledges to be a dictator for a day. Now, and he, uh, I don't think he's a dictator. He's just going to apply something that many other uh, presidents before him applied, executive order. And he pledges to do something for a day and he's kind of like sheepish saying, well, I'll be a dictator for a day. Well, you would be a dictator for a day Others were for more than a day in the United States of America, leading or ruling through executive orders. Now, let me show you what Trump says, and then we're going to discuss this little thing. And um, I will talk about um, how experience shows us that the first day in office, presidents roll over, roll back what other presidents did as an executive order. But it seems like the Democrats have the balls to do it more than the Republicans. Uh, and the Republicans, they promise, but when they get in the office, they don't do it. Like he had his chance last time. He didn't do it. He could have uh, issued executive orders in the first day that he said he would. And he could have done that. And then after he's done, Biden would have come and reversed that. Like For instance, he has the DACA. DACA was done by President Obama. Obama. Former, right? It was an executive order. What was it? It was not uh, something that uh, the Senate, the House, the, they didn't go through that process. process. That means President, uh, what's his name? Trump could have come, come the first day and say, no, that's not. I disagree with that. And I roll it back. Like those guys said, we're going to go this way. He said, no, we're going to go this way. But he didn't do that. Why? That means he agreed with that. Well, it's political. Well, you're not over there to look left and right how people are going to vote, are you? Well, that's politics. Well, that's what I don't like about democracy. But nevertheless, but you have to persuade people. But how do you persuade people? By having values. And then you work on, on those based on those values. Well, if you don't have, you have certain kind of values, but not those kind of values, then you're screwed. You're toast. Anyway, uh, we're going to go on that later. So let's analyze what Trump said. This article comes obviously from Russia Today, from December 6, 2023. Trump pledges to be, quote-unquote, di uh, dictator, I, I thought director, dictator for a day. I don't even think he will be. Straight, straight to your face. I don't think he would even dare to be. Because you say these things, I think, just to uh, have some <coughs> electorate vote for you in the hope that you will do it. You did that the first time. I think you burned some bridges. And it's true that some people for, fall for the same uh, lie more than one time. We all do this, uh, or we did this, and probably we'll do in the in the future, in the past, in the future as well. So I don't believe that you had your chance that you don't tell me you were naive. It's either you were naive and you thought um, everything is good, I'm going to work through, but didn't he receive enough signals that he's sidelined, put to the side, and the bureaucrats are going to do whatever they want and he can bark his orders, nobody would listen? Then what do you do? Who knows? Maybe he was also blackmailed. Uh, he was also probably threatened. Who knows? He knows that overnight he can go. He can go to sleep, and in the morning he doesn't wake up. You know, because the Secret Service is uh, protected him. All right. The former U.S. president insisted that if elected, he would focus on border security instead of ex exacting revenge, extracting, ex exacting revenge on his opponents. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has insisted he will not be a, and I'm quoting, dictator 
if he returns to the White House next year, except, and I'm quoting, for one day. The former leader explained that he would use presidential decrees to shut the US-Mexico border and expand oil drilling. Speaking at a televised town hall event with Fox News idiot Sean Hannity, um, he's not, he's not what he pretends to be. He's not. Um, I don't think he's very bright either, and I think he's just... Uh, he was asked if he would ever, and I'm quoting, abuse power as retribution against anybody, end quote. And he said, except for day one, Trump replied, and I'm quoting again, I want to close the border and I want to drill, drill, drill. Hannity pressed Trump, explained that he was speaking about retribution. And uh, I'm quoting, we love this guy. The former president interjected, he doesn't love Hannity. He knows Hannity's low IQ and he's a weasel, slippery guy. He says, you're, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator. End quote. Now, leaving alone weasel uh, Hannity, that I think in a normal society, he would be at a bodega uh, in front of three people uh, talking his below 86 IQ garbage. But anyway... Um, this is a guy who passes as an intellectual, which I don't think he is uh, because of... Listen to him. I don't have to give you examples. Just listen to the guy. And he is how the wind blows. Now he got Trump. I guarantee if Trump goes and he's going to jump on the next one, just like this, like a cat. Forget about you. Jump on the next... Uh, not like a dog, like a cat. You give him food, he's going to be your friend. You don't give him food, he's going to be the friend of whomever gives him food. Food means money and power here and a platform. So let's talk about Trump. No, Trump is not going to do that. And even if he wants to do that, he would not be allowed. Uh, is he going to write the paper? Is he going to sign it? Is he going to what? Uh, regarding the, uh, the enemies, um, it depends. Remember when Trump tried during his four-year presidency to start to have FBI... Um, look into that laptop for four years. They didn't. And he uh, told the DOG, DOJ, Department of Justice, he told those weasels in charge that he appointed. He, he was in charge. Uh, they, he told them so many times to look into it. What did the FBI do with the Department of Justice? What did they do? Nothing. That tells me that his order stopped right here. Bang to the guy's ear, bang, bang, and nothing happens. They were yes, 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 and nothing happened for four years, four years. And we are in two more right now, almost three. So in what, seven years, seven years, nothing happened with that. Nothing. Hunter Biden said that he wants to testify publicly. I would let him, but the Republicans said no. Why? Because he might say certain things. Exactly. First, and the first thing. And the other one is Trump said he wants to uh, um, you know, testify publicly. Uh, he wants his uh, garbage um, uh, court uh, proceedings to be televised. The, the, the guys will not allow that. Again, because he's going to say something. Oh, he's going to build a platform. No, I think you're afraid he's going to say something publicly again. And that's one reason. And plus that, you know, popularity. But remember, when you say certain things, you create friends and you create enemies as well. So that's how life is. If you have only friends, supposedly, that means you don't stand for anything, just so you know. Uh, now, uh, here you have Trump, dictator for a day. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. If he's gonna do something, he's gonna do it for four years and then the next one, if he gets elected. But it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And this is what I observed in, uh, in uh, American politics. The left and right. Yours would be the other way, right? Left and right. This is the pendulum, supposedly. It goes like the people go left, the, no, they vote for a left, and then when they damage enough, and they go too much left, the pendulum goes back to the right. And then when these guys go too much to the right, no, they go to the left. Why? Because we are not, we have our limitations as humans. So beyond a certain kind of uh, extreme, we react instinctively somehow. Uh, you can try to... Uh, rewire us, uh, uh, propagandize us, uh, teach us from childhood, this and that. It, it's a, it's an extreme beyond we don't feel uncomfortable, majority of us. And if we feel comfortable, 
we don't feel comfortable for a long period of time. That's for, therefore, it comes down psychologically. It goes up and down, left and right. What I observed in the American politics is that this pendulum, instead of going up, let's say from here, like back here, 45, it should go back 90 to 45, right? 90, going to go to 45. Next time when it goes, let's say 90, right? And when it comes back, it should go 90, which is what? 180. But it doesn't do that. The pendulum goes, let's say, 45 and when it comes back it doesn't go 45 or higher or no it goes it goes 45 and then it comes to us let's say 30 and then it goes not 45 it goes let's 55 and then it comes 45 and then it goes 65 and it's got 55 instead of going back it's always to the left always to the left always to the left mostly this is my observation and it goes to the left and when when uh, this is going to go to the right this country will dismember. Why? Because this, people see this and they're going to build so much uh, dissatisfaction with what's going on that they will not act uh, civil at that point. And um, regarding the presidents, look at the presidents. When Obama, Obama, what's his name, the, the, the sleepy imbecile uh, Biden, came into office, what did he do? They were already ready for him to be signed by his team. Executive orders, executive orders, executive orders. He rolled back so many things. What, how many did uh, um, this bad dude, uh, the racist uh, bad guy, what's his name, Trump, when he got in the office? How many executive orders he had on the table ready to sign? Remember? Now make a comparison and remember, uh, Biden is the moderate, the nice grandfather, and Trump is the crazy. My friends, that's how it goes. But when it's coming like this, make sure you are, uh, you are able to defend your families or family. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.